OK, question four. Use of Facebook. At Mikkel School, the pupils in 9A have investigated how many hours, roughly, they each spend on the website Facebook. They've collected their observations in a frequency table shown below. Then you've got different numbers of hours and how many people spent that many hours on Facebook. For example, four people spent about half an hour on Facebook. According to the frequency table, how many pupils in 9A spent less than one hour a day on Facebook? So less than one hour a day, that's uh, no hours or 0.5 of an hour, so it's not including one hour. So it's the 5 plus 4, and that means uh, that it's 9 pupils. So I've written 5 plus 4, 9. What fraction of the pupils in 9A spend 2 hours or more on Facebook per day? So 2 hours or more, that includes 2 hours. So looking at the table, observing that they add up to 22, and those are the ones that spend 2 hours or more on Facebook. So if we add those up, 2 uh, plus 1 makes 3, plus 1 makes 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 out of 22, and you can put the working uh, from how you added them all up. 10 out of 22 can actually be reduced to 5 over 11, so you might want to write your final answer as 5 over 11. Question 4.3. In Mikkel's class 9b, the pupils have also investigated how many hours they each use a day on Facebook. You can see 9b's observations in the table below. Compare the uh, lowest, largest values and the range, variations brella is the range, in 9a and 9b's uh, data set. So 9a's smallest value was 0, 9a's largest value was 4, so the range, variations brella, is obtained from the largest minus the smallest, so that's 4 minus 0 is 4. In 9b, the smallest is 0, the largest is 4, and the range is again 4, 4 minus 0, so both 9a and 9b have the same smallest, largest values and range. Question 4.4. The frequency table for 9a and 9b can be found on a spreadsheet file. Well, we're not going to use that. Uh, you can use this file for these exercises. We're not going to do that. Mikhail claims that 9a and 9b's data set have the same uh, middle tail, that's also known as Genemsnit, is the one where you add them all up and divide by how many there are, and the same median. Uh, is Mikhail right? Justify your answer. So you might want to use my handy median finder to find the median for this. But let's have a look at this. Uh, in 9a, so this is my rough paper, which is why it's yellow. Um, well, there's 22 kids in 9A, so if we put in the values, 5 at uh, 0 hours, 4 at half an hour, and so on, then this highlights the median, well, the middle is between two pupils who spend 1.5 hours on Facebook, so the median is 1.5, then the quartiles uh, you can also be seen, and then the upper and lower values. Um, the average, or the mean average, otherwise known as Genemsnit or Milltail, that's the one where you add them up and divide by how many there are, and that comes to 1.75. So just adding them up and dividing by 22. And then in 9b, with 18 pupils, if we write all the values in, you can see in the middle you've got two 1.5s, so the median is 1.5 again. And then the uh, middle tail, or Genemsnit, uh, the mean average in English, 
Again, adding them all up and this time dividing by 18, because there's 18 of them, gives you 1.75 again. So writing that out neatly for my final answers, what I've done uh, for working out the medians, I've done a list of the values. I don't want to write them um, all out because there's a lot of them, so I've done dot, dot, dot. But I've kind of highlighted how the middle is two 1.5s, so the median is 1.5. So I've done that for both of the classes. And then for uh, the mill tail, or Gennemsnit, or mean in English, I've shown how I've added them all up and divided by how many there are to get 1.75 each time. And then I've just put the comment to finish it off, uh, Mikhail is right. 4.5, um, you have to do two diagrams that show the distribution of the observations 9a, 9b, and, and describe the differences between the two distributions. This is a classic case for a box plot where you've got uh, two data sets with similar types of data. So there's a box plot I've done with the uh, lowest values and the highest values shown at the very ends, the median in the middle of the box, the quartiles, that's the 25% and 75% cutoff values uh, shown, and then the whole thing's just on one scale, the same scale for both, so you can compare it. And then I've written, um, there's more difference between pupils uh, in 9a than in 9b, a bigger difference between the upper and lower quartiles. So in other words, um, 9a is more spread out. Really with a box plot, you want to say two things. You want to talk about where the data is positioned. And both sets are kind of similarly positioned. They both have a median about 1.5. Perhaps I should have said something about that. But 9a is more spread out. There's, there's more variation in the use of Facebook, whereas 9b is more consistent in what they do. You can use the word stabil in Danish. 9b is more stabil. But you're looking really to make two comments, um, position of the data and spread of the data. So perhaps I should have done more than I said there. So there's my final answers neatly set out doesn't quite go on one page. And then there are the marks. Three, three, four, four. And then for the last bit, I've just done it on a separate sheet and said, see the separate sheet, four marks.